Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly host. Praise him, Father. Praise him, Son. Praise the Holy Spirit of God. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He who was and is and is to come. He is great and greatly to be praised. He is our Abba Father and he reigns. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to our King. You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. You are worthy of all praise. To you, our hearts we raise. You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. Hallelujah. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thine hands hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto us. You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. Hallelujah. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, O Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. 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 You are great. Hallelujah. We come just now to say thank you, O King, for you're not just a part of our lives, O God. You are truly our everything. Your love reaches way down deep within and it passes all our human understanding. And there will always be, O oh Father, a song, a praise, a worship unto you we sing. Words alone just can't express our heart's desire. Our gratitude for one more day, our needs you have supplied. Your warm embrace and your tenderness. Father, your patience with us through all our mess. And we have come to one conclusion, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are truly the best. And so we say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to our King. Lord, you are great and you are almighty. All honor, all praise, hallelujah, all glory to you, O King. You are awesome display in this place. You are worthy, 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 Lord. You are worthy, hallelujah. You are worthy, O oh God. There is no God like you. No God like you. Hallelujah. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh God. Hallelujah. You are awesome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you ever thought of us. Thank you for saving our souls. Thank you for making us whole. Thank you for giving to us your great salvation so full, so free. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that because of you, because of who you are, we can give you glory. We can give you praise. Because of who you are, we give thanks for the goodness and mercy that you impart unto us, for the fact that you do not hold our sins and our iniquities against us as long as we continue to seek after you, to seek your presence, to seek, hallelujah, to walk in obedience to your word. As long as we continue to love you, we will continue to see the goodness that you continually pour out for us. You never stop pouring it out, but we have the desire to see it, to experience it by our own actions in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I pray this morning, God, that each and every one of these faithful sons and daughters that have arisen up early and have been waiting patiently for your presence to come. I thank you, Lord, that they will not be disappointed, that they will get this appointment for a new attitude of gratitude and that their altitude, hallelujah, our altitude will be evident to all around. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you will never fail, you never fail, you never fail, you always prevail. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We praise your name. We honor your name. We say hallelujah to our King. Hallelujah to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah to the Rose of Sharon. Hallelujah to the one true and living God. Yeshua, the Amashiach of Nazareth is his name. One songwriter says, Yeshua, Amashiach. Lion of Judah, hallelujah, 
He is God all by himself. Glory to God most high. Hallelujah. Don Dakers, it's so good to see you. Hallelujah. Good to see you, woman of God. Mighty woman of valor. Blessings and peace to you and to your household. Hallelujah. I bless your name. I praise your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you for these faithful sons and daughters of God that you have brought to the kingdom for such a time and a season as this. Thank you, Lord, that you have ordained for them to be part of this family. Thank you that we are blessed because we are children of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, Holy Spirit of God, and welcome. Welcome into our presence. Welcome into our day. Welcome into our way. We ask that you will take full control, all of you and none of us. We acknowledge you. As the word of God says, we must acknowledge you in all our ways and you will direct our path. We ask that you will lead us in the path of righteousness for the name of the Lord Jesus Christ's sake. Lead us, O Holy Spirit of God, lead us. Let no, no flesh glory in your presence, Holy Spirit. Cause our tongues to speak and to declare the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. Cause our feet to run and never get weary and to walk and never faint. Cause our feet to be as hinds feet, that we will run through troops and leap over walls. Cause our minds, Holy Spirit, to be the mind of Christ, that we will think as Christ Jesus desires for us to think and speak as Christ Jesus desires for us to speak and act as Christ Jesus desires for us to act. May our eyes see as Christ Jesus sees. May our ears hear only what Christ Jesus desires for us to hear. And may our hearts love as Christ Jesus desires for us to love. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Take dominion over this time, over this season. Take dominion over the atmosphere. We, we cramp and paralyze. We bind and blind every demonic force peeping and creeping to see what's going on in this fourth watch hour we shut down every storm every wind every tumult every hurricane every earthquake we shut down by fire in the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus christ everything that seeks to easily disrupt delay derail or deny that which your people desire to experience and encounter this morning father everyone desires to embrace your shekinah glory to be hidden in the cleft of the rock in this fourth watch hour and so we declare god almighty nothing that the enemy does shall stop us from coming up the mountain of praise the mountain of glory the mount sinai in the realm of the spirit nothing shall block us from entering the cleft of the rock and seeing the backside of your glory in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth father as you have drawn us into this hour into this time into this season we pray O oh god almighty that you will impose part to us your character and nature that we will truly be representatives of you with your mind with your will and your purpose as our focus in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i thank you this day O gracious wonderful and sovereign god that nothing that the enemy desires to do has been successful in the mighty name of jesus we curse cramp and paralyze rebuke and discharge every impartation every contamination that has been set in motion against us while we slept every negative dream every demonic dream every demonic assignment every interference of principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places in the spirit and in the natural everything that has been sent against the fourth watch family against those that are on the various platforms father we renounce them we reject them we uproot them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth on this deliverance Thursday we declare that we are delivered set free and made whole in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth any injection any medicine any contamination that the enemy of our souls injected into us pour into us caused by fumes to get into our system we reject it and we command it to come out in the name of jesus any touch from any spirit husband any incubus or succubus spirit any sexual dreams that we experienced last night father i uproot that contamination now i uproot it from your womb i uproot it from your private area i uproot it from your from from your male organ i uproot it from your hands from your feet from your body from your mouth 
forth i uproot every sexual contact with any demon familiar spirit spirit husband or spirit wife any incubus or succubus spirit i uproot their touch their contamination in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare the fire of god upon your body soul and spirit right now people of god i declare that everything that the enemy has done to contaminate your bloodstream to contaminate your dna to contaminate your future and your purpose I declare fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth against it. I declare that anything that has been released into your body to cause sickness and disease to come upon you even in the future, I reverse that curse and I uproot it by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every territorial spirit working against your purpose working against your travel working against your health working against your marriage or getting married uh, working against your children working against your purpose your future i uproot their works i destroy their contracts in the name of jesus christ of nazareth come on help me destroy some contracts i know you just woke up and you may not be fully alive fully ready yet hallelujah but i declare come on hallelujah come on one love one love i see you on tiktok asking for prayer i want you to do something prophetic i want you to grab a hole in the realm of the spirit the contract that has been taken out against you and against your family the contract that makes you come on and asking for prayer i want you to grab a hole of that contract like a piece of paper i want you to grab a hole of, of, of that contract in the spirit and say demon in the name of jesus christ i rip you up come on rip up something rip up something if you have something close that you can rip up then go right ahead but if not rip up in the realm of the spirit every contract taken out against my life against my happiness against my joy against my peace against my purpose i rip you up now in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ i rip you up into small pieces i rip you up i rip you up come on rip up the contract that lucifer has taken out against you that that stop order that lucifer has signed and sent with his demons we have gotten a hold of it we have went into gone into the realm of the spirit and we have taken that contract and you see the contract with your name on it it says i hereby decree that so and so that so and so must become tormented must be terrorized must be challenged must be set back must be tested and tried must be destroyed must be eliminated must be delayed derailed and denied no matter what she must not succeed he must not succeed he must not make it he must not make it his family must not make it her family must not make it come on you got to get angry you got to get cross you got to get miserable and rip up that contract come on one love rip up that contract because when you rip that up you're ripping up the need for for, for uh, extensive prayers concerning you and so in the name of Jesus Christ father as one love has put a request in for prayer we join with her in ripping up ripping up the contract that satan has signed against her health against her purpose against her breakthrough against her our uh, our uh, 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 blessing against her open doors against the opportunities that you desire to give to her and to the other members of this family lord we rip up rip up rip up rip up come on there are about four more pages that you have not seen that have invisible ink that satan has written with invisible ink that in the future it will come up the ink will appear and you will not know what is there but I see it in the realm of the spirit this morning come on hallelujah this one is for the early risers this is for once the people who have come in early you are getting to rip up the contracts that have not yet come into being concerning you come on people of God are you excited are you ready hallelujah come on KK KK you're asking for prayer I'm telling you that there are things that are about about to appear in your life appear against you and God is saying this morning if you will get angry if you will go into the realm of the spirit angry because the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force so come on KK hallelujah KK I'm telling you one love I'm telling you my TikTok family this is not the kind of ministry or the kind of devotion where you just come and like those other persons well I don't want to compare because it's not about that that's not my heart but I'm trying to say to you please don't just come into this 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 
um, devotion and think that somebody's gonna do the work for you yes we're gonna do the work with you but we're not gonna do the work for you and so we're teaching you how to fight for yourself how to stand in the gap and then when you get weak when you get tired know that soldiers are here beside you to stand with you and so come on one love and KK one love and KK you got to rip up those contracts look for that 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 contract hallelujah come on glory to God and so father as we call these names in the realm of the spirit one love and KK I stand with them this morning we stand with them as a family and we say devil back up the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you from our families rebuke you from our health rebuke you from our finances rebuke you from our children from our family we rebuke you and we rip up your contract concerning us we rip up your future contracts that Satan wrote in invisible ink it will not come to pass next week next month next year at the end of this year in the name of Jesus Christ we declare that only what Jesus Christ says about us shall be our manifestation shall be our reality shall be our blessing in the name of Jesus Christ we shall not experience anything that Satan has put in motion for us we rip up those contracts now we rebuke them we discharge every work of Lucifer against us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we cover oh God Almighty our children we cover them with the sheet of the spirit we cover them with the blood of the lamb in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we cover them with the oil of the Holy Spirit we cover them with the Word of God for our children uh, will serve the Lord as for me and my house as for you and your house you will serve the Lord I declare that your children shall not be distracted by the ways of the world they shall not be distracted by the things of sin and wickedness even if they're not born yet I declare that only what is written by God for your future will come to pass I declare Jeremiah 29 11 over our lives this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I declare that God's plans for us that are good and not evil to give us a hope and a future to prosper us that we might meet his expected end that is perfect and wonderful and awesome and true I declare that that is what will happen to me and to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and so I break I cramp and paralyze every gate that has been set before you I come with the spirit of Samson this morning and I rip off the gate that is blocking you in I rip off that gate and I take it to Gaza and I throw it off the cliff that it can never lock you up again I declare anything locking you blocking you hallelujah I rip off the gates in the name of Jesus and so as we have ripped up the contract the gates have opened as we have ripped up the contract that which we have been locked in and locked out of has now been exposed come on people of God as we rip up the contract come on hurry us that contract that says you will not marry the, the woman who God has released for you that contract come on Jessica that contract that says you will not flourish you will not prosper you will just live uh, at Lodi bar you will just get by that contract that says your business Raquel will not expand it will not increase it will not evolve that contract that says Joan Jones you won't get married you won't find love that you're too young you're too old you're too this you're too that I rip up those contracts now and as those contracts are ripped up know that the gates are being torn off that you might come out and step into the fullness of God's goodness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and so come on people of God rip up every page of the contract there are about four or five pages come on one rip two rip three rip four rip five rip rip again rip again rip again rip in the realm of the spirit rip up those contracts come on people of God we got to show God that we believe what he has said we believe him we believe that he is God and today is deliverance Thursday and so we are being delivered from every contract that has written that has been written for us every job description of demons and devils sent to cause turmoil and, tra and trauma in our lives we rip up their assignment we rip up their pain we rip up their contracts we rip up their work order in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and we rip off the gates we tear off the gates and we open and come out in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord sent an earthquake right now today this day the Lord sent an earthquake and he has shaken some of you have not felt it yet but I'm telling you 
Hallelujah. God has shaken that which concerns you. God has shaken, shaken, shaken because you are up early and you are in the presence of the living God. God has shaken. Come on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, Danny, done it. Done it, Griffiths. God has shaken that which concerns you and your daughter. Hallelujah, angel. God has shaken that which concerns you and your daughter, angel. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that angel, it is well. Come on, done it, angel. It is well with angel. It is well with you. I break every curse, every spirit of witchcraft, release against each and every one of you in the realm of the spirit. Every word curse spoken against your life, I uproot. And destroy that by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every curse designed to block you, delay you, derail you, and deny you from feeling the joys of the Lord, from walking in the joy of the Lord. I uproot that by the root in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I reach into the realm of the spirit and that which has planted you under a tree, stopping you from growing, stopping you from becoming, stopping you from fulfilling purpose. I uproot that now. Now, Father, by your stripes, hallelujah, they are healed, delivered, set free, and made whole in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead, by the power and authority of the name of Yeshua, who caused the woman bent over for 18 years to be straightened up and be well, who caused the, the ten leper. To know healing, to know deliverance, who caused Naaman, hallelujah, to, 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 to be healed from leprosy, who caused Lazarus to come forth from the dead by that same spirit and the authority of the name of Yeshua. I command everything that easily besets you to die by fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Delina, Delina. Hallelujah. Deline, I curse every plan of the enemy against your family. I uproot that demonic spirit, that witchcraft spirit working against your family in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every demon assigned to families to destroy families. I uproot that by fire. I send fire through the screens now. Fire through the screens now. Fire, 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 fire. fire fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I burn up every contract. I burn up every root, every plant, every open door in your life, in your family, in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare your family is blessed. I declare the anointing of God is falling afresh upon your household now by fire to purge, to cleanse, to purify, to sanctify, and to set, make whole. Hallelujah. To put in the direct, right direction and to cover you in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that you are blessed. Come on, receive it, receive it, receive it. The fire is coming. The fire will not destroy you it will burn to purge it will burn to draw attention but it will not destroy because it's the fire of God and it's the fire that you'll be able to utilize once it has purged you you'll be able to utilize that fire to bring clean to, to cleanse others and to bring wholeness and purification to your household and to your atmosphere in the name of jesus christ i declare as of today you have a fire in your hands a fire in your feet a fire in your mouth in the name of jesus christ as you speak fire fire shall come forth as you send fire fire shall go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and so God is looking for some people that will stand in the authority of his fire come on glory to God Elijah stood in the authority of God's fire and so whenever he called fire fire came Elijah stood in the authority over atmospheres and so whenever he said there will be no rain there was no rain Elijah didn't have the spirit of God living in him God had to come down upon him by his spirit and inspired him to do and to be for God's good pleasure. And so I'm saying to you this morning, God has sent his, his, his fire, his authority, his dominion to each of us this morning. And so today I'm telling you, I'm not asking you, I am not asking you, I'm not negotiating with you. I'm telling you that just because you have come into the Kairos moment, because you have stepped into the cleft of the rock, whether deliberately or by accident, 
I'm telling you that you have walked into a Kairos moment, a moment of fire, a moment of purpose, a, a moment of anointing, a moment of glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so come on, you got to hold on to your fire this morning. I'm telling you the anointing to heal, to deliver, to set free and to make whole is upon you right now, right now, right now in the name of Jesus. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? If there is something going on, if you're having any pain anywhere, any hurt, any sickness, any disease, anything that's going on in your body, anything that's happening in your family, anything that you can touch that represents your family or represents any sickness, come on, hallelujah. Um, Mesha, Misha, Misha, come on, Misha. I want you to put your hand on yourself and I want you to declare, to declare that because I am in this atmosphere, any problem that you are having, come on, speak it out, Misha. Right where you are, Misha, believe God. Come on, Misha, believe God right now. Believe God, come on. I know you're asking us to pray for you and we're praying with you. Come on, that's what we do here. We pray with people. So you got to be in agreement with God by your faith. Blind Bartimaeus ran to Jesus by faith and Jesus healed him, came in agreement with his faith. The centurion, Jesus came in agreement with his faith. The woman with the issue of blood Jesus came in agreement with her faith and they were made whole and so come on Misha we want to come in agreement with your faith because we represent Jesus. Come on, glory to God. And so, Misha, whatever it is you're believing God for, uh, for your life, we come in agreement. Come on, Lovey, you too. Lovey, you too. We come in agreement. Hallelujah with you as you put your hand upon yourself all of you all of you who say you need prayer this morning come on hallelujah hallelujah put your hand upon yourself and say lord jesus i declare that my life has shifted today because i am in this atmosphere this kairos moment because i am in the cleft of the rock today i am healed i am delivered i experience breakthrough we agree with you in the name of jesus we agree that you are healed we agree that you are delivered we agree that you are set free we agree that as the lord jesus declared blessing over the centurion over his servant i declare that that blessing has come to your house now in the name of jesus christ everything that seeks to easily beset you has been destroyed every spirit of death has been sent back to sender back to the devil in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i declare and decree that every sickness and disease that has sought to come upon you has been rejected it cannot find your address your dna is out of its, its database your address is out of its database google hallelujah siri come on hallelujah cannot find you anymore satan's satellite cannot detect you cannot find you you are now stealth because you're covered in the blood of jesus health is your portion in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth and so i declare this morning every one of you who need prayer I send the angels of the living God to your house to your space to your place to your atmosphere and I declare that what you need is falling from heaven right now is manifesting out of you and coming in agreement with God's blessing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah hallelujah those of you who have been tormented in your dreams you find it difficult to sleep ah god almighty i thank you jesus that this torment this attack on on people's on your people's health as a result of insomnia inability to sleep especially through the night they sleep for an hour and then wake up come on i hear the lord saying i'm fixing that right now i'm fixing that right now that demon of insomnia that demon of insomnia causing you to either stay up until wee hours of the morning and then by the time you fall asleep it's time to get up so you're lethargic you're you're you're, you're weak you're tired your blood pressure is either high or low because you're not getting enough rest you're looking old because you're your system is not being able to repair I command that spirit of insomnia that spirit of insomnia and interrupted sleep to receive fire 
now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, as I send the fire, you must come in agreement. You must say insomnia, go now. Interrupted sleep, go now in the name of Jesus. Come on, it's Deliverance Thursday and we're uprooting every demonic force, every demonic source that has been attacking our lives. Every spirit that causes us to wake up in the middle of the night in trauma, in, ter in terror, in fear. I command that demonic spirit terrorizing you in your dream. Loose now, go by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I send the fire of the living God, the fire of the living God to every demon operating against your life in the nights disrupting your dream in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah I declare this morning that Austin is healed Austin is healthy Austin is well I speak to Austin's mind that demonic spirit that is working against Austin's mind to try to destroy his thought process and by extension his health I reverse and uproot that from Austin's life now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I send fire to Austin fire to Austin fire to Austin that will burn out from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet every plan every scheme every trap of the enemy against austin i uproot that now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i send hallelujah the fire of god to the same household i send the ball of fire from heaven like a nuclear bomb to the same household and i declare everything that satan has planted everything that satan has sent father god almighty the devil wants to believe wants us to believe wants the same household to believe that he is stronger than you that he is mightier than you that he is more powerful than you but this morning we stand in the gap we stand in belief we stand in confidence that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the sovereign Lord we believe with our every heart we believe even more than the centurion more than the woman with the issue of blood more than the woman whose son was raised from the dead we believe more than Mary hallelujah Magdalene that you are great and greatly to be praised that all power belongs to you all power belongs to Yeshua and we tap into that power by the Holy Spirit this morning and we say father move mightily in the same household move mightily to heal move mightily to repair move mightily to restore I command every demonic force working against the health and strength and marriage and purpose of God's people that are hearing me now every demon operating in your household I serve you notice now and I send the fire of God the fire of the living God into your space right now wherever you are if you're right beside your spouse every demon that is desirous desirous of destroying your marriage separating your marriage causing the, uh, disruption in your marriage in your health in your in your in the blessings of God that has been ordained for you I have root that demon by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ documents that has, has has been signed and should have been released long time monies that are being held up by unscrupulous spirits uh, I release the fire of God against their hands now as the Lord sent Michael the Archangel to cut off the hands of the Prince of Persia so that Daniel's answer could come this morning I send the fire of God to everything that is holding up your health holding up your breakthrough holding up that job you're supposed to get I release the spirit of the living God to send to bring fire and thunder and lightning against every plot and scheme and trap of the enemy to discourage us to cause us to feel like God has abandoned us or forsaken us I reverse that curse and cancel that assignment against our minds in the name of Jesus Christ every serpent whispering in your ears telling you that you are not loved telling you that you are not of God telling you that God doesn't love you telling you that you are rejected by God telling you that you have been abandoned I accept the fire of God to clean out to purge out every negative every contaminating thing in your ears in the name of Jesus everything that is in your soul reminding you of what you once were what you once used to do reminding you of how you used to live reminding you of that abortion reminding you of how many women's hearts you broke reminding you of, of how you used to steal how you used to do evil things and telling you that you'll never be a good Christian because of your past I send a fire of God against that now I declare that you are without blemish whether you're a woman or a male I declare that the fire of God is 
removing every blemish from you now, every blemish from your soul, every blemish from your mind, every blemish from your outer body and your inner life. In the name of Jesus, I send the fire, the purging fire of God, and every blemish must go. Blemishes die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I uproot every satanic assignment against your purpose, against the will of God for your life. And I declare every fear, come on, every spirit of fear, come on, I want you to declare with me, fear, fear, leave me now. Fear, lead me now. Come on, put your hand on your stomach and command fear to come out of your intestines, to come out of your soul. Come on, right now. Come on, people of God. Any fear of anything, hallelujah, must go back to the pit of hell. That's right, Misha, must go back to the pit of hell. Every fear, every spirit of fear must go now. Come on, we're going to deal with fear first and then pride. Are you ready with me? Today is Deliverance Thursday. If you're not ready to be set free, you shouldn't be here this morning. Come on, free. Freedom Day. Today is Freedom Day in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hand on your stomach. Hallelujah. And repeat after me. Say, Spirit of fear, I command you now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and by the power of the Holy Spirit, my God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And so with that power, I command you fear, get out of here, go from me now, up and out, up and out, up and out. Come on. Deliverance has come. Deliverance has come. Fear. Out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of fear. Fear of insects. Fear of lizards. Fear of bats. Fear of cats. Fear of rats. Fear of dogs. Fear. 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 Fear of man. Fear of being hurt. Fear of losing a job. Fear of not getting a, getting to work. Fear of not being able to buy a house or a car in the future. Every fear. Every fear. Every fear. Fear that you are not good looking enough. Fear that you might sin against God. Every fear. I uproot that now in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that we do not live in fear. We live in purpose. We live by the word of God, the will of God. And so every spirit of fear, come on, up and out. No more fear. Fear, get out of here. For you, we do not care. For you, our lives will not share. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, up and out. Come on, people of God. Aggressively command that fear to go. Aggressively command that fear to go. Come on, it's holding on because it's been your partner for so long. Fear has been in your life for so long. It's become a natural part of your existence. It is even convincing you that you need to have a little fear. Yes, reverential fear of God, not the fear in the world or the fear of man. And so come on, in the name of Jesus. Come on, fear, up, up, up and out, up and out. I'm not asking you. This is not a negotiation. Fear, go now by the fire of God. Fire, fire, fire. Every fear, come on, come on, come on. Open your mouth. Fear is coming out. Fear is coming out. Some of you are literally feeling something. You're yawning. You feel like spit is gathering in your mouth. Come on, spit it out. Fear must go. Fear must go. Out of their bellies. Out of their intestines. Out in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of fear. Up and out now. I'm not asking you. I said out. I hook you fear in the lives of God's people and I pull you out. Come on. I pull you out and I send you to dry places. I pull you out and I send you to dark places. I pull you out and I send you to the abyss in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No more fear. Hallelujah. No more fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear must go. We are as bold as a lion. We are as strong as an elephant. Come on. Glory to God. We walk in the fullness of the power of God. We stand as mighty as a mighty army of God. We are numbered among the 300 that were led by Gideon. The spirit of Gideon is in our lives and leads us. Hallelujah. As the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare that we are like David's 30 men of valor. We can't, We fear nothing. We fight and win. We know before the battle even starts that we are winners. So we're no longer slaves to fear. We are children of God. We're no longer slaves to fear. We are the sons of God. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord has split the sea so we could cross over from the place of fear. 
hallelujah, to the place where we no longer experience despair. Hallelujah, hallelujah. His power and his glory is our refuge, our fortress, our strong tower. And so we have run into the presence of God and we were delivered. We were delivered. That means it's past. A few minutes ago, we were delivered from fear. Come on. Hallelujah. Some of us still struggle with a little bit of pride. Hallelujah. Some of you men, you have pride in how you look. Some of you women have pride in how you look. Pride in what you know. Pride in your knowledge, your wisdom. Come on. Hallelujah. You in the world, your pride in self, your pride. Come on. They say you must have pride in yourself. Pride in who you are. Pride in your family name. Pride in how you were brought up. And, and we were taught by the world. Come on. Because the Bible tells us that we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Part of the iniquity we were shaped in are things that in the world we are told are necessary for us to succeed. But in the kingdom of God, they are is the complete opposite. Come on. Hallelujah. And so when we were growing up, if you didn't have pride in yourself, they would they would speak down to you and, 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 and your self-esteem would be damaged. There was no place. There is no place, hardly any place for humility in the ways of the world. You can't get to the top being humble in a in a in a in a, in a company of such. And this is not absolute. I'm just speaking generally now. If you go into any company generally, if you go into any, even in church, if you are humble and 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 uh, waiting on the Lord, you sometimes hardly get uh, to 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 get to the top, to get to the position, even that God wants for you, because other persons, through their pride, through they think that they are entitled to to even what God has not given them, will go in and take up your position. And but in the kingdom of God, God is saying that as we are humble, He will elevate us. Come on, as we as we start at the back, He will take us to the front. And so this morning, I want to I want to the command that spirit of pride that we were shaped by when from we were born uh, and especially when we were adults in the world we were shaped by this pride hallelujah that that that, that pride in self that pride in our achievement that pride in, in in pressing hard and going and getting what we need to get but it's not by might or by power come on in the world it's by might and by power but in the kingdom of god it's by his spirit and so pride is is kept afar off by god which means you cannot be led by the spirit of god if you're in pride hallelujah hallelujah yes Hallelujah. Ha hallelujah. Rose says, so true, God, I am nothing. You are everything. Keep me humble. That's it. That's it. That's what we want to, 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 uh, to embrace this morning. And so come on, we're going to go again. Deliverance Thursday. Put your hand on your stomach because sometimes there is pride in us and we don't know. Often you can know when a Christian, a deep rooted Christian is in pride because their pride becomes centered in their deep rooted Christianity. Their pride becomes centered in how anointed they are. Their pride becomes centered in how much of the word of God they know. And so when they hear someone else preaching, instead of saying, Father, I thank you that this person will come into the full revelation of your word, the full knowledge of your word, the full anointing of your word. They're saying, mm -mm, look at that. They need to study more. They don't know enough word. That's not revelation. That's not right. We use what we have been given by God, the grace of God for knowledge, wisdom and understanding to beat down, to criticize, to condemn other people and don't know that that is pride. 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 And so the worst pride to detect is spiritual pride. Oh, I am more anointed than this person. I, I, I heard that a prophet once says, I am the most accurate prophet in this country. Pride. Pride. What's the purpose of that? I heard an evangelist says, uh, every time they're talking about missions the, 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 this evangelist always is saying hallelujah uh, oh whenever i go to a crusade 15 people come out a wheelchair this happened i do this i do that and it's hard to stand and listen to these people because you hear pride and pride must be kept wide pride must go on a slide come on pride must hide 
pride must be in hell. And so we must not be proud that we're the best teacher in the class and, and, and that we accomplish. Testimony must come with humility. Our testimonies must come with humility because we have nothing. As Misha said earlier, we have nothing if we are not centered in God. The anointing, the prophecy, accurate prophecy is nothing if God doesn't speak. Come on. Hallelujah. And so we must remain in humility. Some of us, because we know the word so much, we go to church and we listen to our pastor listening for mistakes. We're listening for him messing up. We're listening for when he or her, him or her, um, miss a verse or, or misquote a verse. That's what we're listening for. The devil is a liar. That's pride. Pride is when you know so much of the Bible or you know God so much or you've experienced the, 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 the deep divine visitations and revelations of God so much that no one else has any opportunity to talk about their experience. It's always you. Oh, I saw that. Oh, I heard that. Oh, I know this. I know that. I, 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 I. Yes, sometimes yeah, yes, sometimes you you're so bright, you're so well schooled that you're looking out. Oh, pastor just um mix up um the context. Pa father, father just pastor just um messed up subject verb agreement. Pastor just used a verb where you should have used an adverb. Pastor just pastor just you go to church in your in your in your in your Mercedes of pride, and you drive up quite stush. And you come out looking all cool because your air conditioned cooler than every other car. And you walk in like a witch floating in on your pride. Guys, that must not be us. Let us be sensitive. Let us be sensitive. If you find yourself you're in a conversation and you're the only one talking, pride. If you're in a, if you're, and notice I said conversation, I'm not talking about you're at a meeting, you're the, you're the one that is um, delivering the message. I'm not talking about that. You're in a conversation, whether with one person or two or three or more, you're in an atmosphere where other people are there. Other people have ideas. It doesn't matter what level of idea they have. The good person who is humble, seeks to help others come up to their level and even pass them not to keep them down or to remind them that they're not as bright as you as eloquent as you come on have great speech like you it pains my heart when i see people of god good people of god have a problem listening god is the best listener in the universe God is the best listener that exists anywhere. God listens to all 8.5, 8.9 billion people every single day, whether we're talking C or we're talking G. Whether we're talking good or we're talking that thing that calls you to have to cover your nose. It doesn't matter. God listens. Where did we get this thing about we must always be the one talking and never listening? I wonder what our prayer time is like if before men we talk, 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 talk consistently and constantly and never listen. Do we listen when we go before God? Do we listen or have we developed a habit of demanding and dictating to God? Oh God, I come to you because I know all these scriptures. Father, in, in, in Psalm 73 verse 24 it says, in Psalm 6 verse 1 it says, Father God, hallelujah, in Jeremiah 29 it says, and we're quoting scripture like God didn't write it, like it's not God's word, like he doesn't know it. We're not quoting it to say, Father, I come to hear from you because your word says, I can come into your presence. I am like a palm tree planted in your courtyard. I come to you to remind you that I am in your courtyard and I need water. I need sunlight. I need favor. I need blessing. I need protection. I need to be, hallelujah, in your peace. I come because you said you are my Jehovah Shalom. I come because you said you are my Jehovah Rapha. I come to hear what healing you have in store for me. I come to hear what encouragement you have in store for me. And so if you're quoting scripture it must be to tell God why you are there not to tell God hallelujah that you are there God already knows that you are there God already knows what is in you he put it there you think because you you were able to read and remember with this great brilliant brain that that that, that it is on you 
No, it is still God that caused you to remember, that caused that brain to be in you, and it is God that gives us everything, people of God. So let's practice humility before God and before man. Practice to listen sometimes. Listen. Sometimes you will even hear something that is not right. But the person is so... Uh, and I'm not talking about something that's going to contaminate your Christianity or that's going to cause them to, to, um, to go to hell. No, you will have to correct if it is, if it is wrong doctrine or, or bad principle. But sometimes it's not necessary to correct everything. It's not necessary to correct everything. Allow God to do some things, man. Allow somebody else to bring correction to something, as long as it won't hurt the person. But we have to nitpick and dot every I and cross every T in every conversation because we're so brilliant, we're so knowledgeable, we're so learned. We're like Paul before he became, like Saul before he became Paul. We're a Pharisee of Pharisees. Learned, studied under Gamaliel. We must let everyone know how brilliant we are. The devil is a liar. That heart position will only take us to hell. And that's not well. Amen? And so I'm saying to you this morning, if there be any pride in us, any little jot or tittle of pride, it needs to go on this Deliverance Thursday. It needs to go now, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. So put your hand on your stomach again. Hallelujah. And say, Spirit of pride, I command you now, be uprooted from my life, from my soul, from my body, from my mind, from my will, from my emotions. Spirit of pride, loose me now. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, spirit of pride, I command you, up and out, up and out. Come on, deep breath and cough, deep breath and cough, deep breath and cough. Spirit of pride, go now. Spirit of pride, go now. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. Every spirit of pride, come on, people of God, come on. Uproot that pride, uproot that pride. That pride must go, that pride must go. That pride that was hidden, that was hidden deep in the inner recesses of your life. That pride in humility. There are some people that are proud of their humility and don't realize that pride and humility can't coexist. If you're, hum if you're humble, there is no need to talk about it. Come on, humility is evidence of itself. And so if you have to be telling people that you are humble, then that's pride, not humility. And so that pride and humility, come on, up and out, up and out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Up, you spirit of pride, out of every corner and crevice, you parasite of pride. I speak to you now, come on, up and out with every jot and tittle, with every egg and baby, spirit of pride. I command you, loose God's people now, up and out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. And I replace pride with humility, the humility of God, the obedience that the Lord learned through the things he suffered. I impart to you right now in the, in the, in, by the power of the Holy Ghost, the humility of Jesus, the humility of Jesus Christ. Lord, let your humility come upon us. Let your love come upon us. A love that produces humility, a love that produces power, a love that produces faith, a love that produces victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you, hallelujah, have delivered us today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God most high. Glory to God most high. Come on. If you haven't shared this broadcast yet, I want you to share, 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 share so that others can be delivered, set free and made whole so that God can minister to his body, especially believers. Come on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Um, who is that? Rose Rose Jake says, I have to go to work. Thank you for deliverance prayers. May God continue to bless you. Amen. Rose, hallelujah. Rose Jake, I bless you as you go. Thank you so much for joining us. God is faithful. I bless you. I declare angels will go before you and make crooked places straight and rough roads smooth. I declare a good day, a great day, a God-blessed day. I declare that every plan, scheme, and trap of the enemy that has been put in place to, to, to discover 
discourage you today has been thwarted, failed, and burnt up by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Look forward with anticipation for an amazing day, Rose Jake, in Jesus' name, for heaven's sake. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day, woman of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God most high. What an awesome God we serve. Hallelujah. I want to just declare some stuff um, over you before we get into the word for about three minutes. Let me see how much we can get done in about three minutes and then we want to get into the word because we're still in Matthew 24 and we want to get some more nuggets from Matthew 24 before we do anything else. Sabrina, Sabrina Robinson. I bless you, Sabrina Robinson. God has seen you. God has, uh, uh, has located you. Sabrina Robinson, God bless you. Hallelujah. God is lifting some burdens off of you, Sabrina Robinson. God is lifting some burdens off of you today and he's changing some situations that you have been facing, that you've been going through. Sabrina Robinson, God says, I lift you up this morning. Morning, I shift you out of the vein, the, the, the road that you have been on, and I put you on a new road, a new road that will see blessings and favor, peace and joy come to you along this journey. You've been on a journey where so many things have been happening that you even got, have gotten accustomed to the bad things happening. You expect bad things to happen to you, but today God says no more. I shift that now. I shift that now. I command an open heaven to be over you Sabrina and like in Star Trek when they beam up Scotty and, and, and those guys God has beamed you up and put you on a new journey a new road a road where your expectancy will be for the things that are good and not evil and your hope and future will be one of blessing and favor in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah. John Jones, I see a cover in your face because you're you're of that age where you know Star Trek. Amen. God has beamed up. God, they didn't invent that invent that. God invented that. Come on, before Star Trek was even written, God had a, a, a ladder going up to heaven and, and um, angels were ascending and descending. That's the same beam up. They just have an imaginary version. But God has a ladder. Uh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. How do you think Paul was taken up into the into the third heavens and shown great revelations? Come on. Hallelujah. So if you think I'm just talking off the top of my head or out of flesh when I use an analogy like Star Trek and beam up, I can go into scripture and show you. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Glory to God. We must desire to be beamed up. Glory. Hallelujah. Uh, Captain Kirk cannot beam us up, but Captain Jesus can. Ooh. I love that. I love it. I love it. Come on. Is anybody more excited? Mm. Glory to God. Captain Jesus can beam us up and take us to a high place, a place of purpose, a place of victory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. So Lord, beam us up into that place of purpose. Beam us up into that place of the cleft of the rock where we can receive from you the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I'm going to declare a few things over your lives before I get into the word on page 206, page 206 of the prayer reign, prayer reign, hallelujah. For those of you uh, who are new, we use the prayer reign effectively to help us to, to anchor our prayers and to guide us in some ways. And remember, we don't necessarily just utilize the exact verbatim word it is to it is designed to just stimulate a direction of our prayer and so even when you're in your private time using the prayer rain you don't just use it uh, verbatim to how it is it guides how you pray so it starts you off and stimulates you to bring into your own personal space uh what it is that this the, 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 the prayer is dictating okay so this first one i'm going to give you an example this is what the first prayer reads. Lord, catapult my spirit life to the mountain top. That's number eight. We're starting from number eight. For those who are following, page 206, page 206 of the prayer reign. And the first one, number eight, that's where we're starting. It says, Lord, catapult my spirit, spiritual life to the mountain top. 
Amen. So that's what the prayer in says. But hear us now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord Jesus, we declare today that you will elevate us, that you will lift us up, that you will lift our spiritual life, our prayer life, our word life, our, our church life, our, our, our life of interacting with people to the mountaintop, to the highest place. Father, we thank you that there is no place higher than where we will go with our spirit life because you will take us to the high place. You will take us to be seated with you in heavenly realm in the name of Jesus. Lord, we will look down on our enemies as of today because you have catapulted our spiritual life to that high place of praise, that high place of glory where you live in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, as I said before, the prayer reign is designed to help you develop and mature in your prayer life. It is not designed for you to just declare or just speak these things. Uh, basic. What page? Page 206. 206. 206. Right, Joan, you got that? Page 206. Hallelujah. Page 206. So that's number eight. Number nine. Father, Jehovah God Almighty, let heavens open and let the glory of God fall upon us this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Hallelujah. We thank you that open heaven is already over us in this Kairos moment. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that your glory is falling on us, your Shekinah glory, that we will glow like Moses. We will glow like those who have been in your presence, that great wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord will manifest upon us, in us and through us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your glory come out of open heavens that will bring us into the place place of peace, the place of joy, the place of power. Let our enemies scatter because your glory is upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, God Almighty, that your glory will heal us. Your glory will deliver us. Your glory will set us free because we are under your open heaven in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Glory be to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So that was number 10. We skip number 11 and go down to number 12. Hallelujah. And we say, Lord Jesus, let all multiple strong men operating against us be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God Almighty, as you who have begun a good work is faithful to complete it. This morning you have begun a good work casting out fear, casting out sickness, casting out disease, freeing us from the prisons and the caves that we have been locked in, ripping off the gates, setting us setting us free because we have been captive. I thank you this morning, O God Almighty, that multiple strong men operating against us be paralyzed now, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that seek to come back to try to lock us up again, Father, may they be paralyzed now in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak into the future and we declare every demon and devil, every witch and warlock waiting for us in the future, every principality and power waiting for us in the future. And that means as of later today into tomorrow and going on into the end of the year, I thank you God that those witches and warlocks, demons and devils, principalities and powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places and everything that raises itself against the knowledge of Jesus and the knowledge of Jesus' promises to us, we declare them paralyzed and burnt up by the fire of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every demon assigned against us, we paralyze them by the word of God. We declare that what is bound on earth is bound in heaven. And we bind every demonic assignment, every demonic plot and scheme and trap against us, against our businesses, against our family, against our children, against our the work of our hands. We bind that works now in the name of Jesus and we set it on fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As the fire came down from heaven on behalf of Elijah, to burn up the, the sacrifice on the altar, to burn up the altar, to burn up even the very water. We declare that the fire of God shall work for us, shall work to our benefit against the works of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So we thank you this morning, O God Almighty, that every strong man from wherever, operating through human beings at our workplace, operating through human beings at church, through human beings in our community, to human beings in our country, 
and operating in the atmosphere as demons and devils, principalities and powers. Every strong man, God, wherever they are, as long as they're operating against us and against our family, against our bloodline, against our purpose, against our finances, against our marriage or getting married, we bind them and we put them on fire. We set them on fire. We set them on fire now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For in this season we shall run and not be weary and we shall walk and not faint. The same anointing you placed upon Caleb that at 80 he was strong enough to take his mountain, to live well, to farm, to grow, to benefit from your glory and your blessing. So I declare that every member of this family that is here now, those who were here and had to leave for whatever reason, and those who couldn't make it today, Father, may the anointing that you placed upon Caleb and the boldness that you placed upon Joshua for leadership be upon us even now, that we might reflect a double portion of what was upon Joshua and what was upon Caleb, and what was upon Elijah and what was upon Elisha. We declare it so. What was in Hallelujah. The apostles in the upper room at Pentecost. May that be our portion today. And may we flourish and prosper for your glory and for your name's sake. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. So guys, you see how easy. Watch me. We did number 8, number 9, number 10, and number 12. Four. Four words. Four, ver four lines we did. And it took almost 20 minutes we started no um five minutes yeah five minutes too um it's now nine minutes past so that's 14 nearly 15 minutes four lines and it took nearly 15 minutes because of how we did it how we prayed it and so if you have a struggle if you have a difficulty with prayer time and, and i'm not talking about just lent for much speaking that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about sometimes we, we we have a difficulty stretching ourselves in prayer this prayer rain will help you to stretch yourself because as you speak what is there more things will begin to come to you by the spirit of god amen but it's good practice i wasn't always like this when i first started 15 16 years ago um it, it was it was just I was just declaring everything that is in it. I didn't know this. I didn't know this Rowan. I couldn't see this Rowan being able to to just use this as a declaration and a, and then mushroom from it. And so I was only just declaring what I saw in the book. I was just praying what was in the book. But God is faithful, and so He taught me over the time to to grow, and you will too. Amen. Hallelujah. So if you're only able to just declare what is in the book, that's fine. That's a good place to start. At least you're declaring some 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 scripture based things into the atmosphere to, to deal with issues concerning you. One of the good thing about the prayer rain, if I may publicize it, is that it covers all areas of life. Everything you can think of. Courtroom issues. Come on. Hallelujah. Baptism of fire. Anything self-deliverance it has all kinds of prayers and all kinds of things uh in it that will help you there's nothing that you can experience that there isn't a prayer and a declaration for in the prayer reign amen so you must have your prayer reign beside your bible um uh, with your bible every time and so as you finish reading the word and you get into prayer your prayer reign will help you it not it, you're not to become dependent on it you still must pray without it but it it really is an aid it helps to strengthen your prayer life amen praise god praise god hallelujah you know i don't remember saying good morning hallelujah good morning to each and every one of you those of you on arrows internet radio hallelujah and and um on facebook on instagram on tiktok god bless you god bless you those who came in and was there for what's the name of the book it's called prayer prayer p-r-a-y-e-r -E rain r-a-i-n here we go if you're still on um this is it you can get it on amazon you can get it on amazon you can get it on amazon prayer rain awesome aid in your prayer life hallelujah just type it in on amazon and you'll see the, the hands 
I don't know if there are others or copies as you will be aware everything that God is promoting and using to bless his people Satan tried to contaminate it and to cause problems and so make sure you look for the right one it's by Dr. D.K. Olokoya Dr. D.K. Olokoya Prayer Rain awesome book helped me to grow in my prayer life I'm still growing hallelujah but it helped me Maki Maki on TikTok is asking for prayer Maki I declare God's blessing God's favor over you whatever it is that is happening in your life that makes you need God's intervention the Lord knows and he will grant you the desires of your heart I declare that everything that has easily beset you, everything that has sought to put up a wall before you, I declare the fire of God to tear it down and destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare, Maki, you have been elevated to a high place, a place where Satan cannot reach you. I declare Isaiah 43 over you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare that you are the blessed of God, the highly favored of God. Your family is blessed. That which you desire to do and to be is blessed and will be a blessing to you and to others in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I move you out of that bad situation that you're in you know that bad situation that situation that has you wondering God what's going on when is this gonna change when is this gonna change God has seen your cry he has heard your cry and he said he has lifted you out because you have stepped into a Kairos moment a moment of blessing a moment of miracle God has lifted you out of that bad situation it's about to change watch in the next few days a shift will take place Maki in that which concerns you and you will see that you came in the presence of the Living God this morning today and he has moved mightily on your behalf in Jesus mighty name hallelujah 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 yes my dear uh, hallelujah not sure if you're a brother or sister um i cannot pronounce your handle uh 2485 <laughs> i can't pronounce that first name it looks african but i i yes we will keep you in prayer and we'll bless you in the name of jesus christ i want to just pray uh my my auntie pat uh those who have been with us in this family for a while hallelujah knows auntie pat she's a staple on the fourth watch she's doing a hip replacement surgery a hip surgery today and so let's keep her in prayer come on i want us to just pray for auntie pat for a few seconds hallelujah father we thank you that this surgery will go well that recovery will be speedy i thank you that your angels will be in the operating room watching as the holy spirit it performs the surgery i thank you that the anesthesiologist is one who is it, hands are controlled by the holy spirit the doctors oh god almighty are controlled by the holy spirit i thank you father that your prized possession ah Patricia Golson is in your hands and so if you're allowing this surgery you're allowing it because this is your will for her at this time and so we thank you Lord God Almighty that she will go through unscathed without any complications and that in quick short miraculous time she will be up and running again stronger than she ever was we release the anointing that makes her bionic superhuman supernatural ah out of this surgery in Jesus mighty name hallelujah hallelujah glory to God we thank you Lord that you have already done it and it is well in Jesus name hallelujah I also want to continue to remind uh, my family and friends please I remind you there are some people who are going around I, I don't know how they're doing it but they are they are calling uh, persons who are familiar with us, persons who are part of this family. Yeah. They are calling and, and um, sending prayers to them. Some of them I hear are even using my voice. They have taken my voice off of, of they, they have lifted and edited my voice while I'm praying. And they send those prayers to people. And then when the persons hear my voice and believe that it is me who is contacting them, then they're sending them a request to buy um, oil from Jerusalem. Guys, if you've been here even for a day, if you've been here even for a day, we don't contact you personally, ask you for money or ask you to buy anything. That's not what we do. Are you hearing me? We don't do it. Amen. And so you must be mindful that even if you hear my voice, 
that's not how I operate. We don't operate like that. We don't contact you. If we have a project, if we have something that we need to do, we publicly declare it first. I come here on this platform and I say, guys, we're doing a church expansion. We want to get something for the church, something for the building, a laptop, whatever. And we speak it publicly. And then you get the opportunity to contact us and say, I want to sow into that. Amen. I don't call you and say, oh, I'm praying for you. And then I want you to buy oil. That's a snake oil salesman. That's a, 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 a hireling. That's not us. We have a credibility and we have a modus operandi that we function by. So anyone call you, anyone sends uh, 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 anything to you and saying it's coming from us. If they are soliciting any at all, last night a friend of mine, a dear friend for many years, we got saved, baptized the same day in the same pool. She's my teammate in baptism and have been a good prayer partner and friend ever since. Last night she called and says, Pastor, uh, thank you so much. You prayed for me. You sent me a prayer and it was an excellent prayer. And um, and, and I want I want to know the, um, the amount for the oil that you say I must buy um, from you because you, di you didn't tell me the amount. And I said, what? Woman of God, no, uh-uh. Buy oil to do what? No, man. If I'm telling you to buy oil, it is for your own purpose. Buy your oil yourself at wherever supermarket or place and then lift it up and we consecrate it together. And you think, I'm not selling no oil. I'm not selling the gospel and I'm not selling oil. I'm not selling t-shirts. I'm not selling anything. Amen. And if I was I would tell you all at one time so that you would know and there would be a structure, there would be a process and there would be a purpose. Are you hearing me? Please, I want you to know who you're dealing with so that the wolves and the serpents and cannot come and, and tell you anything. And the prayers are authentic. This is one of the prayers that was sent. No, not one of the prayers. She took one of the, this one, this person texts her. Um, I see this page text me. I saw like it's a fake page for our church, but it it's called Pastor Rodaway. Sorry, and it got me scared last night because it just texts me and said to me that um someone working on me and I need. Um, I need to send money to buy oil and someone stopping my financial prop, stopping financial, a lot of things. I don't remember everything. And someone looking at me in, in mirror for me to get confused and all of this. And I said, no. Right. So basically what they're saying is that they, they're using fear tactics. That's one of the things that um, that hirelings do. They use fear tactics to make fear come upon you so that you can um, so that you can become fearful and then uh, acquiesce or submit to whatever request that they're making. But you must know, guys. I don't do such things. I don't embrace fear. I don't use fear. I will pray against something that the Lord may show me that is happening to you, but I would not call you and say, this person is working witchcraft against you or that person is working witchcraft against you so that fear can take you over and that you need to buy oil to deal with it. The, the woman of God couldn't sleep after this message came to her. That's not God. That's not God. That's not God at all. And the moment you discover that what you are getting from me is not a representation of God in his character and nature, then that's a problem. Hear me carefully. It's not that this ministry don't need money. As I have said often, but not a lot, Pastor Marsh and I are full-time ministers. We work literally free. If God doesn't place people on our us and people's hearts then we don't know what we would do and there are times when things are dry and times when things are plenteous and we satisfy in every situation we will not bow to begging cajoling or squeezing you 
for anything. If you feel like we're a blessing to you, if you feel like this is a place where you eat and grow and learn and become and you're benefiting from and you choose of your own free will as the Holy Spirit lays on your heart that you want to be a blessing to this ministry, then you can contact us and ask us to, to allow you the honor and the pleasure of being blessed by blessing us. Because you are the one that is blessed when you sow into what God is doing. I don't have to tell you, send me a thousand dollars and God will bless you. No, God will tell you what to do. And then he's responsible for blessing you. If I tell you that God will bless you and he doesn't, then I become a snake oil salesman. I become a con artist. And I don't want to be seen by man or God as a con artist. So let me just put that out there. I'm not doing it proudly. I'm just saying to you that if you don't feel led by God to be a blessing to us, then God will find someone else. If you are not able by the status that you're in at the moment to be a blessing to us, God will find someone else. I don't need to cause fear or to shake you or to cause any kind of discomfort in order for you to give. God has called me to give to you not to ask you to give to me. He has called me to give to you. If you feel like you need to give to me as a result of me giving to you, then that's fine. God bless you. But if not, that's fine. God bless you same way. So you're double blessed. Amen. So I had to put that out there. It took up too much time this morning, but God is faithful. It's necessary, um, it's necessary because I don't want you to be hurt by any of these people. And listen to me carefully. If you have bought, if unfortunately you have been a victim of these people and you've paid for oil or you have been um, scammed, uh, you, you, you sent money and you didn't get any oil or you got oil, that's not good oil. That's a curse oil. That's satanic oil. That's demonic oil. You need to, unfortunately, I pray that none of you have fallen for that trick. But if you have, you need to get rid of that oil. Throw it away and cleanse yourself i pray in the name of jesus christ father that anyone that has been contacted anyone that that voice has gone through to, to to their ears to their soul to create fear to create any form of demonic manifestation in their house in their life in their family in their marriage in their health i reverse that curse now in the name of jesus every word curse telling persons that if they don't buy the oil if they don't send the money they're going to be cursed i reverse that curse and i send fire to them now in the name of Jesus Christ fire to their phones fire to their house fire to their ears fire to their mouth may their tongues cleave to the reef the roof of their mouths in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth father God cover them under your wings cover your people O God Almighty and let your will let your will let your will be done hallelujah open the, the eyes of your people oh god cause them to discern in a great way that no weapon formed against them will prosper in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i break every curse that have been released from these scammers upon you in the name of jesus christ now and in the future and so guys if you see any of these things coming to you any call any solicitation asking you for money personally and privately it is not us reverse it by fire don't even entertain them don't get into a cussing match or a back and forth thing as soon as you hear them just say the fire of god against you i send the fire of god into your house fire of god into your phone fire 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 just send fire nothing but fire don't give them a chance to put in a word send fire in the name of jesus and let them leave you alone and don't call you back that's not how we operate. Amen? Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so, I want you to be protected. You are the sheep and God has given us. Yes, and block them as well. Thank you, Lady Joan. Block the number. Any way that they contacted you, block them. Delete them from your messenger. Just don't have any contact with them. Because remember, Satan, hear me, Satan is the prince of the power of the air. He's the prince of the power of the air. And so once he gets an ear from you, once he's able to speak into your ear, he's able to do some kind of damage. Once we know, then we are able to reverse anything that he's trying. But if he speaks into your ear, like he spoke into the ear of Eve, like he tried to speak into the ear of Jesus, 
If you be the son of God, command this stone to be turned to bread. Come on. He tried to speak into Jesus' ear. That's what he does. He speaks a word and hope that we that it resonates with us, that we take it. And you saw what happened to the woman of God in that testimony. She listened to what they had to say and fear took her over. A demon went through the phone into her and she had to go sleep with her sister. She was so fearful. So we must learn and mature in these things. Certain things we must not let into our ear gate or it will produce a demonic response. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we must guard our ear gates, guard our eye gates. Let no hireling, no demon or devil speak and influence our actions. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Unfortunately, because of this, this um, announcement that was vital, uh, we have run out of time and I can't get to go into what I wanted to go into in Matthew 24. But we, we, we function according to God's agenda. And so tomorrow morning, hallelujah, we'll be able to do that in the fullness of time. Hallelujah. And, um, and, and yes, if there's a second request, if you see a second request, hallelujah, from from me from any um entity representing me for facebook to to um to to accept a friend request on facebook i don't have i have two accounts and they're already established and they are already established one you see me well i don't even know because they will take the, the, the pictures and stuff and clone it anyway um but i'm not sending out any additional request so any requests come from me block it Amen. Block it in the name of Jesus Christ. We're and, not. Um, anything on Facebook telling you that you are violated. Oh, yes. Violated yes. That's, that's, that's another thing again. Listen, guys, you must become aware of the works of the enemy. Father says, do not be ignorant of the devil's devices. Sometimes they will take um, your information and send you an email because a lot of times our email addresses are on our Facebook page. They will send you an email or contact you to say, your, or messenger, and send you an information to say you have violated the community protocols of um, the metaverse. And therefore, you must give them your password, send them your password and your date of birth, all of your important confidential information in order for them to restart your account. The devil is a liar under no circumstance, even at the risk of having to start a new page if that is necessary. Do not give anyone your confidential personal details. No password. Don't send it to anyone. Don't change it while you're in contact with anyone and certainly not your, your, your date of birth or any private information that is yours alone. Don't give anybody. They tried it with Pastor Masha. Sent her information wanting her to panic. Hey, morning, bro. I'm wanting her to panic. You have violated. And, and immediately we go to thinking about the negative. What have I violated? What have I done? And if they get you to panic, that's our Satan's strategy. If they can get you to panic, come on, then they can hook you and pull you into a foolish decision. And after you make that foolish decision and you calm down, then you realize, oh my God, I've given over what I shouldn't have. And so always be quiet. Be quiet. If your soul is panicking, if you're feeling anxiety, remember the word of God says, be anxious for nothing, but with everything by prayer and supplication, make your request known unto God. Come on. Hallelujah. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path. If we stick to the word of God, we will always be okay. Amen. Praise God. <coughs> Excuse me. Hallelujah. Okay, time for communion, time for communion. Tomorrow we're going to go into some words, so get ready, be ready. I want you to like and share our pages, hallelujah, and invite other people to come to the platform to hear what God is saying in this season. Amen, hallelujah. Uh, my Instagram family, 
I want you guys to remember to invite persons, invite persons, send to your friends on Instagram and tell them that you have this wonderful devotional time that they need to come share with you. Remember, evangelism is not just telling people about Jesus, but guiding them to where they can be told about Jesus as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for this morning. Thank you for revelation, manifestation, for the manifested power, for healing and deliverance, for blessings and favor, for uncommon increase, for revelation of your word, for your will and your purpose sake. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for what you have done and we will manifest and be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, sanctify these emblems even now, O God. May they be to our bodies health and strength, prosperity and good success. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. Mm. hallelujah and likewise he took the cup he blessed it and took a sup and he said drink this is my blood the blood of the new covenant as often as you drink of it you do it in remembrance of me drink ye all of it in faith in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah thank you so much for joining us this morning Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope that you were blessed. I hope that you were delivered more than anything else. I hope you were set free mentally and spiritually. And I hope that you were made whole in body, soul, and spirit, mind, will, and emotion. Hallelujah. As you go this morning, please remember to share so that other people can know that you care in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Raise your hands for the blessing. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. May the Lord heal you, deliver you, set you free and make you whole from every plot, plan, scheme and trap that the enemy would desire to set for you today. May today be a good day, a day a favor, a day where your business increases, where your job, you get promotion. You just accomplish things in the spirit of God, according to the will of God. May the work of your hands be blessed today. May everywhere your feet trod, you dominate in the realm of the spirit and in the natural. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Go forth, my family. And have an amazing day God's way. For our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day, his way. In Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus love you. And we love the whole of honor too. On behalf of Pastor Marsha Wade, I'm Ruan Wade saying, Have a blessed day, man. For it is well. God has already made it well. And it is well. Amen. Praise God. Please remember to do something good for someone tonight. Ladies, please remember women without blemish this evening at 7.30. Remember to join men. Remember men's meeting this evening at church fellowship, uh, <laughs> fellowship um, at Liberty for Living Ministries. Please turn out in all your power. And by the way, we're going to be um, assisting. It's today, right, babe? The, the, the women without blemish thing yeah. yes so today we're gonna be on women without blemish the, the, the men are gonna be talking about love and, um, and and how love works and how men are supposed to interact with women uh, while we're single and even when we are married come with all your questions ladies so please make sure you get on to women without blemish this evening because we're going to be storming hallelujah the atmosphere to pull down all of what you will need to um to to, to just function uh, as men and women as children of god in a way that is pleasing in the sight of the lord we're going to be giving you insights and foresights this evening 7 30 women without blemish um and it's gonna be on zoom right so please contact us for that Zoom link. If you have never been on Women Without Blemish before, contact us for the Zoom link. Pastor Marsha will gladly forward it to you so that you can be a part of it. Amen. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please remember to do something good for someone today. Be a blessing in any way that you can. And it will truly be a reflection of God's love in you and through you. God bless you. Have a great one. You are great and you're almighty. Oh Lord.